saw a moment ago what the Soviets pass off as news. Finally this evening, what a very interesting American thinks is news. Those of you who do not live in the general neighborhood of Pettis, Texas, are going to miss today's edition of the Beeville Bee Picky. <clears throat> Excuse me, we called up today to see what the big stories were. There's one about the local elections. There's a forum tomorrow to discuss the issues. There's a story on page two about a heated council session on the sewer fees. And there's also a story on page two with the headline, Maggie is on tonight. Well, Maggie is on tonight on this broadcast. She's Margaret Moore, the Bee Picayune's columnist in Pettis, and she's been doing it a lot longer than most of us for almost 100 years. Here's Charles Murphy. You look at Pettis, Texas, and you think nothing happens here. You'd be wrong. There's a hot domino game down at the firehouse and a donkey basketball game Saturday. That donkey basketball game's coming through here pretty quick. All will be chronicled by Margaret Moore and the Beeville Bee Picayune. She's 100 years old, and she's been writing about goings-on around Pettis for 91 years and more out of two typewriters. Uh, when I come in here to write my news, I, I spend more time watching the birds than I do get my paper out. She lives in the country. It's pretty now, but she'll also write that drought has stunted this year's wildflower crop. Sometimes she wrote about her life. Here's what happened in one week. A varmint ate most of the chickens. A cow swallowed a big inner tube. Another cow knocked over a pump and was nearly electrocuted. That's news. Yes, a lot of times people think, well, that's not news. But it is news. It's not news for you, maybe, but it is for somebody else. They used to call her the road runner because of her pursuit of news. Now her daughter, Inez Turner, helps gather items. Here's Margaret's column. The B. Picayune, which is also 100 years old, runs it in Thursday's paper. It's informative. There are little snippets of country life, and, you know, the, her, she writes with such a flair. She says of a neighbor's party, the home looked cozy with flowers from Mrs. Lakey's garden. She thinks everyone ought to be in the paper before they die and when they die. People appreciate that. I like it. I read it every week. It's not just about people. It's, it's about... It's about life. Did you ever think of retiring? Retiring? Oh, I don't like that word. She doesn't have time to retire. She's got to write next week's column. Her fingers are already typing it out. Charles Murphy, ABC News in Pettis, Texas. We could use her. Tomorrow our person...